All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I'm joined tonight by Rusty and Metal Mongoose. How are you guys doing? What up? Hey, I'm doing great. Now, I must say, uh, I've only recently gotten into uh, Cindy's content called Content. Uh, so, I thought it would be a good idea to bring you guys in to uh, help guide me along with this uh, interesting lore of this young woman here. So, I'm going to quickly give the people out there... Kind of a, I don't, not much of an origin story really, but just a quick rundown on uh, Cindy. If you guys want to jump in and like comment on any of this while we're going through it quickly, be my guest. But since a lot of what is going on right now, I would probably say is like the most interesting stuff that's probably happened with her. Uh, I don't know if you guys necessarily agree or disagree, but it seems like this is the uh, flashpoint of her lol cow status i've i've been seeing a lot of people say that in comment sections uh what think about cindy here. is she's so interesting and beautiful and perfect you know nothing could absolutely be wrong with this woman <laughs> yeah she's got some she's got some uh dedicated stands i'll say that uh, okay she also has a healthy diet of bunless McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, God, we'll get to that. That shit is nasty, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Ghost of Lester Cheatham in the chat says, Hello, never heard of this person before. It should be interesting. Yeah, I would say probably like nobody out there has heard of her in the chat. Um, maybe one or two people. So let's just jump into it. Uh, born May 13th, 1983, uh, not much is really known about her early life from what I've uh, read out there. Uh, at age 13, she met her best friend known as B. She'll come up here and there as we're uh, speaking about all this stuff tonight. Uh, in 2001, she turned 18, and very soon after, she married her first husband, who was allegedly abusive towards her. They later divorced after... Uh, he cheated on her. That's one thing that you'll find is a common thread in uh, Cindy's life. All the guys that she's been with have cheated on her. Uh, I'm sure her it, personality has nothing to do with that. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Uh, you guys definitely know more about her than me. So, uh, Yeah, around this time in the early 2000s, uh, Cindy got her GED and went to college. Uh, got a job as a waitress, I assume, to support herself going through college. Uh, she said... Uh, she did not want to go to college, but uh, she needed to go to get a job, which is kind of interesting considered where she ended up, uh, <laughs> which is doing YouTube content and not working a day job. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, sometime in the late 2000s after she divorced her husband and kind of, I guess, was on the path of trying to get her shit together, uh, she met her longtime lover, Andrew, uh, after he delivered her a pizza. Uh, he then, I guess, after delivering the pizza to her, uh, was interested in her, and he found her name through the pizza order and contacted her on MySpace. Um, definitely kind of creepy, I would say. They uh, both had a pizza boy fantasy. Really? Yeah. Okay, I guess yeah, that makes was, sense. <laughs> I would say it's mutual. <laughs> given given Cindy's character, I don't think she was very upset about it. <laughs> she's more flattered. She was flattered. Yeah, Andrew's yeah. throwing him a softball. <laughs> Lambert, how's it going? Welcome to everyone in the chat. Gigs, Andy. It's always the pizza guy or pizza girl. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I was, it always ends up being the pizza boy with that extra large salami. Anyways, she didn't see the message apparently that he sent her on MySpace until a month later, but bizarrely, I guess in my opinion, uh, accepted to meet with him. Despite this being very creepy and unethical, uh, they soon began their relationship and got married in May 2012. By the way, I wanted to point out earlier, but I forgot to mention this. Um, a lot of this comes from uh, various sources, uh, Reddit, um, but also there was a couple of, there's like a Tumblr page and some other places where people have collected a lot of this information, so... Much like what we're going to talk about uh, in a moment here, I don't want anybody to accuse anyone of plagiarism. I'll say it outright. I got these from a variety of different sources. 
Um, but yes, so she is most well known for her channel on YouTube that she created in 2018. Uh, April 24th, 2018, she created the Pleasant Sims YouTube channel. Uh, she uploaded her first video on May 28th, 2018, and uploaded pretty consistently, uh, making uh, mostly videos about Sims 2 and sometimes The Sims 3. Uh, to this day, the channel boasts over 93k subscribers and almost 20 million views, with the total number of videos uploaded reaching pretty close to 450. She uploaded a lot of videos. Oh, yeah. Uh, she also created content for the Sims community and stuff like that, too. She really? was heavily, heavily involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had the whole the Pleasant View Sims website and all that. Yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend is really into the Sims, and I asked her if she ever watched any of her videos, and I don't think she did, but... Yeah, it seems like she was really prolific in the uh, Sims community. A lot of people, like I said before, we were chatting still to this day in her comments on that channel, which is not active. Um, they're like, please come back, make more videos. So she's got some fans of her Sims content out there, 100%. Um, I just can't believe she made it with Let's Plays like so late on into the, the fad of Let's Plays. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much yeah. content out there in the YouTube ecosystem you know like these these things are not that crazy i find i've seen some weird like shit kind of blow up and people like make careers off of it it's kind of fascinating oh like badlands chugs <laughs> well that i mean that's one example right <laughs> uh on december 2016th uh 2018 uh cindy did a pretty low-key face reveal on her youtube channel here she looks very similar to how she looks today with her normal brown hair uh, for a while, she was looking a little bit different. We'll get into that. Uh, however, she did not use a face cam in her videos until about six months later, uh, June of 2019. Uh, when she did start uh, using a face cam in her videos, uh, she started making just more, in, ge in general, like uh, on-camera appearances. And she started to noticeably be wearing uh, wigs. Uh, so let's quickly talk about that. Um, according to Cindy, her hair started thinning in, I think it says here, like 2006, but she claims she didn't notice it until years later. Makes me kind of question, how do you have a date like that if you didn't notice it? But whatever, right. let's get past that. Um, <laughs> apparently... She, she doesn't have thinning hair, she's just got a big forehead, man. <laughs> she's got a five head. She land a fucking plane on there. Anyways, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking around. Um, it was a huge source of, uh, insecurity for her, obviously. And uh, I guess caused her a lot of stress uh, for, I think it was probably about maybe a year and a half or two years. It was quite a while she was wearing wigs uh, in an attempt to, I guess, hide the thinning. Uh, she eventually stopped wearing them in 2022 and went as far as throwing them away. Did she ever go back to wearing wigs or was that kind of when she said, I'm done with this? I don't think so. I think she uh, put them in the trash, kept them there. <laughs> Uh, in the chat. Although, of... Sorry, go ahead. Now, uh, now that I just thought about it, um, she did try using these little um, filaments. It's like a little can of like the same color of her hair. And she's, it's like spray paint. You spray it on top of your head to hide oh, the damn. bald spots, but I don't think she ever stuck with that. Yeah, I've heard I've heard of people using that stuff. It seems pretty shit. I don't know why you ever use it. <laughs> yeah, it's no. pretty desperate to use that, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was going to read this. Um, uh, Sarah in the chat says, off topic, I'm making the Acock family in The Sims 4 right now. Oh, God. It's in their fucking hoarder house. Uh, let's see here. So, on July 5th, 2020, Cindy began streaming The Sims on Twitch. And uh, on her new... Uh, she started archiving those on YouTube on her new Pleasant Streams YouTube channel. Uh, she introduced her husband, Andrew, as Mr. Pleasant to her fans. I just love the name, Mr. Pleasant. It sounds so fucking suggestive. <laughs> it's me, Mr. Pleasant. I have to try really hard not to do a spit take there. <laughs> um, um, anyways, his face uh, was later revealed on stream. Uh, apparently, you guys were talking about this. Andrew hated being on these streams. Uh, oh, yeah. Jeff Morgan it's put on that. <laughs> Whenever he's on camera, he's absolutely miserable. There's a couple. Uh, I watched the Christmas vlog miss video, Christmas yeah. Day. He seems all right for a little while, but it really tapers off. I think he has to put himself through it, and he just despises being on camera. He's like, God damn it, I have to do this bullshit again. Hey, just goddamn right. bitch. 
I question if it's the camera he hates more or just being seen with Cindy. I'd say it's about 50-50. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak on that. You guys would probably know better than me. Uh, around this time, Cindy quit her job to focus on YouTube full-time. So fast forward a little bit. July 17th, 2020, uh, Cindy began to shift the focus on her Sims channel from Let's Plays to tutorials and informational videos on The Sims. She would also produce rant videos mostly about The Sims 4, uh, which caused her to become known as the Sims 4, or I guess a Sims 4 hater. I don't know if that's like a huge thing, a huge like division in the Sims 4 community. I don't know. So I have a little insight on this. Sure. Um, the, the Sims community is split straight down the middle on The Sims 4. And you either absolutely love it as a Sims stand or you absolutely hate it. I got to be honest. Um, I have The Sims 4 in my Steam library. But that's only because my girlfriend plays it. And there's a few occasions where she's got me to like make a house in it and like play it a bit. And, you know, I've dabbled, but it's the only Sims game I've ever played. So I don't know. Maybe I'm like a heretic because of that. <laughs> um so next section here is uh where the kind of drama starts to begin there's like these small little incidents that start kind of showing the cracks i guess um sometime in 2020 uh a 17 year old autistic girl on cindy's discord server began randomly spamming her with constant messages uh this started Moving on to other platforms with Cindy getting, you know, messages from this girl out the ass. Uh, this was a pretty short-lived drama, I guess. Uh, Cindy got really sick of this. Demanded that the girl stop sending her messages and leave her community, which I guess she did. Uh, Cindy went on to publicly insult and mock the girl on at least one occasion that I know of, uh, for which she was called out. Uh, Cindy later apologized publicly to the girl in 2021. Now, right, this is where the Discord leaks came in that I showed yeah, you earlier today. Yeah, yeah. But was was there much more meat to that bone, or is that pretty much it? No, she was just kind of bullying an autistic girl online. Okay, yeah, I remember you saying that earlier, that she has a history of uh, bullying autistic people, I guess. Seems to be a bit of a habit. <laughs> she just can't quit it. She just can't stop. She can't stop doing it. Uh, so on August 15th of 2020, syndically, syndically, oh, excuse me. Oh, okay. Try that again. Cindy publicly posted a warning about someone going uh, by Savannah Chapman, uh, also known as Kit Kat Simmer, uh, claiming that she had plagiarized content from her website. You guys were saying it was like pretty much like the whole site was kind of plagiarized. Uh, is that correct? Yeah. The format, everything. Yeah. It was, it was pretty much copy paste. Um, and this, this girl who did this is literally like a nobody with no online presence or anything like that. Probably more of a fan than anything. Mm, interesting. So yeah, in response to the perceived or, you know, I guess, uh, justified claim of plagiarism one way or another how you look at it uh cindy left a message on savannah's website asking her to remove the plagiarized content or else she would retaliate with a copyright infringement notice was it just like a notice or was it a strike or was she like threatening to have her account taken down or i guess website uh, she was in some type of rage and just you know started going off on this girl and you know threatening this type of action which would be frightening to anybody who you know some any girl who is young and is not really experienced out there, you know, and is all of a sudden having this YouTuber with, you know, nearly 100,000 subscribers coming down on her and telling her that she's going to fuck her shit up, you know? Yeah. No, totally, yeah. Uh, five, so five days later, a Twitter account was created named at uh, HarryAppleLegs1 and had the, uh, the display name Pleasant Sims is a Bully. Uh, this account began to harass Cindy, claiming she was a bully for calling out Savannah and also because Cindy said the font on Savannah's website was horrible. Uh, that kind of just ends there. Was there anything else you guys would add on to that or? As far as I'm aware, that's essentially the gist of it. Uh, again, like you had said earlier, you know, it's just these little things that she does that she kind of takes out of, you know, just a little too far, just a little step over the line here, a little step over the line there. Mm hmm. Yeah, jumping forward quite a bit here, uh, I guess I guess she was kind of dormant for a little bit. Uh, Chris says, I hope Cindy comes off well-meaning by the end. Uh, 
I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil anything. <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so in March of 2021, Cindy made her first personal video uh, revealing that she has PCOS for those unaware. Uh, that is polycystic ovary syndrome, a condition where you have unusual or sometimes very long periods. Uh, it often results in having too much of the male hormone androgen. Uh, <laughs> I have a little bit of a description here. It sounds unpleasant uh many small sacs of fluid develop on the ovaries they may fail to regularly release eggs uh symptoms include excess body growth or sorry body hair growth weight gain thinning hair oily skin and acne etc just not not fun or pleasant things not very pleasant rupture too oh god oh yeah not a very pleasant thing to have by any means my soundboard even working? There we go. Yeah, there. I'll just play that sound. Um, so the next section we have here is, I guess, the current era, the Life Plus Cindy era. So the on golden April, era. <laughs> the golden era, the platinum era. Somebody named Astrid in the chat is just spamming ew. <laughs> April yeah. 2021, Cindy creates her Life Plus Cindy channel. Uh, she begins making regular content on both channels after this. Mr. Pleasant's name is revealed to be Andrew, and he starts showing up on her Life Plus Cindy vlog channel. So yeah, this is this is essentially just like a vlog channel. Here's what's going on with my life. Here's what I ate today. Not anything I would typically find very interesting, but she is... Um, She's quite the interesting character, <laughs> you know. The uh, not like the high uh, points. Sorry, man. No, go ahead. The high points of uh, having Andrew and everything is just watching the the life drain from his face over time. <laughs> Chris says uh, you you were well wishing her in the Discord before. Yeah, because like uh, all the fucking shit at first, I was like, oh, you know what? She seems like really sad person. And this is before I found out all of this shit that we're going to be getting into. Uh, it is, um, I think it may change your perspective. I don't know. We'll see. So, moving a little bit forward to the beginning of 2022 here. Uh, Twitter user at Pleasant Sims Hate and the Tumblr account Pleasant Sims Exposed are created and began spreading the old drama between the autistic girl and Cindy creating a new campaign to apparently ruin Cindy's reputation. Uh, about a week later, Cindy leaves the Pleasant Sims channel for good, making a goodbye post on her Tumblr account. The post has since been deleted, but is still accessible through others who reblogged or responded to her post. So she's uploaded a few videos since then, but we'll get to that in a second. On June 6, 2022, uh, Cindy announced she was pregnant. This will come up again in a moment. She's kind of getting some dates out here because this is starts happening things closer and closer together here. So on uh, July 19th of 2022, Cindy posts a, vi a video on her Pleasant Sims channel after not posting anything for about six months. Uh, the Sims 4 added a wants and fears kind of feature. And Cindy was known to do uh, gameplay based videos around wants and fears in the Sims games. So apparently, you know, it seems like she was compelled to make a video on this. At the end of the video, she says, I'll see you with a new video soon and has not posted a video since. So July 23rd of 2022, Cindy does a Sims 2 Twitch stream for the first time since the previous December. She talks in the stream about having uh, some physical pains and uh, remarks that they might be a kidney stone. Uh, later that night, she ended up going to the hospital and went into preterm labor at 20 weeks and lost the baby that she had with Andrew. They had named the baby August, and obviously she was devastated by this. Um, do you guys want to hop in and say anything before I continue there? Any insight pot uh, potentially? No, not specifically. It's uh, The whole situation is pretty sad. Um, yeah, it, it really legitimately is, yeah. Yeah. Um, so on July 8th, 2022, Cindy publicly announced that she had lost the baby. She makes a video about it and then goes on a hiatus. Uh, she claimed before leaving that she would never stream The Sims again. Uh, so she returns later in the year in November uh, of 2022. 
Uh, she begins posting some normal videos throughout December and January, uh, but mostly, or pretty much, I guess, exclusively on her Life Plus Cindy channel. Um, February 2023 is when the first My Life is Over video comes out. It's kind of a running thread, these My Life is Over videos, uh, even videos that have come out recently that don't bear this title, you know, fans of kind of, or, you know, detractors, I guess you could say too, have started assigning My Life is Over to various new videos that will come out because they're kind of these milestones in terms of this or that happening, uh, you know, Andrew coming in or not out of the picture and so on. Anyways, let's talk about the first one here before we uh, get too ahead of ourselves. In the first uh, My Life is Over video, uh, Cindy discusses Andrew leaving her. And we learn that Cindy uh, would, in her words, manipulate him and act erratic towards him due to her mental health issues. Uh, she spends the next month on her own, allegedly attending therapy and trying to sort out her finances. Uh, about a week later, the Life Plus Cindy subreddit is created. This would not be the only subreddit created, as we will get to in a moment here. My life is over as in divorce. I don't think at that point that was going... I don't know. Uh, we'll get to it. Let me get to it. <laughs> so on March 14th, 2023, uh, Cindy posts a vlog uh, talking about getting back together with Andrew Apparently, they took a trip to Arkansas and sold their house in Colorado. They went to a cabin and then apartment hunting. Uh, fast forward a little bit to April. We get the second of my life is over video where uh, Andrew leaves Cindy, uh, apparently confessing to cheating to her over a text message, goes back to Colorado without her, leaves her in Arkansas alone. So how is, how's the timeline so far? Does this... Uh, does this make sense? We're adding up. Yeah. Uh, uh, something I'd like to add about the uh, My Life is Over 2 video. I'm pretty sure it was that one. Yeah. Uh, when Andrew leaves for the second time, it was kind of like uh, when dad goes out to get milk, he went out to the record store. He, he legit went out straight out to the record store and never came back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And he just left her in Arkansas alone. Yep. Texted her. Hey, I've been fucking this other bitch. I don't know if at that point he figured out... Uh, I'll, I'll leave it for you to to discuss later on. Yeah, because so here... jump ahead, but <laughs> no, it's <laughs> okay. Something. What I have for this section, April second, it just says that he confesses to cheating over her, uh, cheating on her over text message. So I guess the whole story hadn't come out at that point. I'm assuming. Yeah, uh, she she talks about it. the the timeline's kind of messed up as far as when she talks about yeah. things happening with Andrew. So. So three weeks later, on April 22nd of 2023, we have the uh, racist video incident. Uh, Cindy posted a vlog where she was in a Mexican restaurant with her friend known as B. I told y'all she would come back up again at least once. I think this is the only time, actually. Uh, she makes some inappropriate comments, such as pronouncing something as a vulva. It's, uh, making a crude joke, I guess. And she made comments about how people criticize her for wasting food, so she said sarcastically she will send her leftovers to Ethiopia. Uh, <laughs> the next day, she freaked out and privated her whole channel. Uh, this was because fans had criticized her recent vlog for being racist and insensitive. Uh, and on top of that, uh, she got doxxed. Apparently, somebody on Reddit began harassing her family members. I don't know... Do you do you guys know more information about that? Can you speak on that? Did somebody just start like trolling her IRL or what? I'm not sure about that specific instance, no. Hmm. Okay. Seems like there might be a little bit more to that, but yeah. There's a lot of information to go through here. Um, April 27th of 2023, she did a goodbye live stream saying she was leaving for her mental well-being and leaving on her terms. She apologizes for the comments she made, saying they were not intended to be offensive. Uh, around this time, the second subreddit was created, Life Plus Cindy underscore Snark, which, uh, as you guys were mentioning earlier, is basically just people either criticizing her, uh, trying to figure out information about her, or things like that, you know. Just dunking on her. Uh, yeah, that's where all the making, rumors go around. Making memes about her. Yeah, it's a gossip column, you might say. A little bit of a rumor mill. Uh, May 1st of 2023, she hosts a return live stream wherein she opens gifts, among other things, for people who donated to her. 
Uh, she also started posting uh, daily vlogs again. So she was gone for like five days. Yeah, like five days. <laughs> oh, I was devastated. Let me tell you, I was devastated during those five days. I thought it was permanent. I thought she would be gone forever. <laughs> He's probably so excited when she came back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> So on May 23rd of 2023, uh, Cindy posts a vlog titled, I drove all night to Colorado to see Andrew. After receiving some text message from Andrew on her birthday, she impulsively decides to drive 14 hours on no sleep to Colorado to see him again. She gets a hotel room there and they talk and hang out for hours. At the end of the vlog, she tells her fans that Andrew is moving to Arkansas with her. A couple days later, after extensive criticism from her fans, she once again privates all of her channels, videos, and social media. Um, a week, like a week later, a little over a, a real week roller later. Coaster. Sorry, it was a real roller coaster. <laughs> Seriously, uh, June fourth, so like not even a week later, maybe I would say like a week and a half. Cindy returns again on a stream titled "You Were Right, I Made a Mistake." Let's talk about it. Uh, with many fans calling this stream uh, My Life is Over Part 3. Uh, she explained what happened during the last two weeks she was gone. Andrew and her are in no contact again after she learned that Andrew had still been in a relationship with another girl in her 20s the whole time. He even said, I loved you, and introduced this mistress to his family. Ooh. Uh, she kicked him out of her apartment and made him take his things. She forced, uh, and she found this all out because she forced Andrew to show her the contents of his phone. No doubt after, uh, you know, having, you know, a fucking Uber meltdown and demanding to know what was going on. Cause I think she probably at that point knew that he was cheating on her, like continually cheating on her. Yeah. Oh, it had to be scary, man. Just yeah. her standing over you and posing. And, you know, you, you see pictures of Andrew. He's not a, he's not a stout guy. No. You know. um, oh. Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. So after this debacle, uh, Cindy uh, started dating a new guy who showed up in a number of her streams and videos over the coming months. Uh, they broke up in September and she predictably had a meltdown. Uh, fast forward to late September of 2023. Uh, Cindy's ex-husband Andrew made a number of posts on multiple subreddits and other sites, making a number of claims that are summed up here. Well, let me just pull up this uh, thing here. Is, is anything you guys want to uh, comment on, jump in and talk about here? Uh, I don't think Cindy ever did anything wrong. I think Cindy um, was always in the right. Uh, oh, I will actually talk about uh, the Mexican restaurant incident. Sure. Uh, I don't. I don't think Cindy did anything wrong there. I think uh, that was just uh, you know in communities where you have like Cindy snark shit like that, when you have a groups of people who try to pick apart everything about someone, I think uh, people often reach for shit like that just to be mad over. Uh, and that specific instance was uh, just people looking for something to be upset about. I don't think it was that big of a deal. Fair enough. Yeah, I haven't seen the video or anything, so I can't really comment, but yeah. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Yeah, based on what I read there, it didn't seem like it was really that awful, what she said, so. Right, right. Uh, let me pull up this thing here. Take this down. So. This is basically a summary here, and I'll uh, screen share this once again with you guys. Of a lot of, I guess you could say, the accusations made against her. The things that she did to Andrew, supposedly, while they were together. This is kind of what has caused this, uh, on some level, explosive new interest in her lately. I've definitely seen a lot of it. Uh, seen people talking about her a lot. So, I'm just going to go through these. So, uh, uh, the first bullet point here is, she used sex as a weapon against Andrew. He wasn't allowed to refuse sex without her getting upset. He wasn't allowed to try new positions or do something different without being accused of cheating on her. That is just, uh, we were laughing about that before. That just seems totally insane. 
Yeah, like, I, I couldn't even imagine living in a situation like that. Like, you, not only do you have to, you know, like, sometimes you can be tired. You just don't want to bang, right? Yeah. And, like, you're in a situation where, like, you absolutely cannot refuse or you're going to deal with somebody being completely fucking irritated at you and making your life a living hell for the rest of that night until you possibly bang her again. Yeah, I just, I just can't get over fucking... Like, oh, you want to try this new position? It's like, like you guys were saying before, like, where'd you learn that? You know, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. to that one, boy. It's so ridiculous. Like, does does she not expect him to like have watched porn before or have sex before? Like, come on, it's just so absurd. Uh, speaking of cheating, uh, Cindy accused Andrew of cheating on her a lot over anything including him just being in a different room at home where she couldn't see him well once again that's just insane he, he was a puppy he was her pet <laughs> it's like a baby object permanence if he doesn't if she can't see him he's off somewhere else at another woman's house so another one of the accusations here is that she never did anything for andrew never got him gifts unless he was supposed to or sorry unless she was supposed to uh, when he tried bringing this up with her, she picked a random food off his grocery list and tried to pass that off as a token of affection. <laughs> Have a cookie, Andrew. Andrew, you love this string cheese. Why aren't you happy with me, Andrew? Why can't we have sex now, Andrew? Missionary only. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something she actually said, like missionary only? No, I don't know if she said that specifically, but I wouldn't okay. be that surprised. Yeah, like, I mean, it's, <laughs> considering uh, not to be too uh, mean about her, but considering her uh, amplitude previously, I don't think that she could be very uh, flexible and maintain a position for that long. <laughs> I imagine she was a starfisher. Uh, Ghost of Lester Cheatham in the chat says Cindy's Sims frequently cheated when out of sight of each other, so she figured the same would happen in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Sims is very. Uh, very indicative of what happens in real life. It's exactly what happens. People just kind of like walk into your house and start using your computer, and then you just stand there. Leaving plates on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, all this, however, she was quick to complain about it if Andrew didn't spoil her all the time, uh, which is kind of ridiculous, you know. You need you don't spoil me enough, and then meanwhile it's like, when do you ever get me a gift? <laughs> she just gets some like. I bought you some... all that string cheese the other day. <laughs> I got you Oreos. It's like, come on. And on top of all that, at this point, she was only doing YouTube as her sole source of income. So yeah. you know they're living off of his income for the most part. Has she ever disclosed how much she makes from YouTube? Not that I'm aware of. Hmm, okay. I mean, she lives pretty comfortably. I would imagine that she makes a decent amount. I mean, hey, yeah, fair enough. She does have member streams now. Tell yeah. Me. Oh, yeah. I mean, I got fucking member streams, I can tell you. Does does she charge, like, a, out the ass for her memberships or something? Or what is she doing? Does she have, like, different tiers, like... $50 for, like, the Super Simp or something? I don't know. Super that out real quick. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, five bucks. That's not Just bad. Five bucks. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, I mean, mine, mine is the same, so I can't say anything. <laughs> uh, so apparently, Andrew was only ever allowed to like the things that she liked and approved of. Uh, they only did the things she wanted to do together. She got upset if he suggested anything he wanted to do if it didn't perfectly align with her interests. Yeah, uh, that sounds like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> sounds like par for the course so far. Uh, Sarah in the chat says, uh, does Cindy have a Patreon? I have no idea. I don't believe she does. Um, also, on top of this all, she was uh, very financially abusive. She controlled all the income that came into the household. She was allowed to spend however much she wanted at her whim. While she only granted him a small allowance did he not have a job? What what is uh what is this with the allowance? I'm pretty sure he was still a pizza delivery driver at this point in time. She was making more money than him uh through YouTube. Interesting. Okay. Uh he always had to answer his phone when she was contacting him ASAP, including when he was at work. Oh god. That's a, that's a bit far, you know. If you're working, it's like you can't always have your phone on you. It depends on the job, yeah. but you know. 
Especially well, you know, if you was a cheating. driver at that point in time, trying to drive around to your job, and you got crazy yeah. Cindy on the phone. What you be doing over there, boy? Let me smell your breath. <laughs> let me smell your dick. Trying to figure out if he's cheating on her. Like, let me come take a sniff. Yeah. He was responsible for taking care of their animals because Cindy never wanted to. Uh, unless it was for a vlog. Yeah, <laughs> sounds about right. Uh, when asked to, she would simply refuse. They were her animals, right? Like, I mean, they were, they were together for such a long time, I would just say that it's a mutual ownership. Oh, fair enough. Okay, okay. Uh, she would get jealous and accuse him of cheating anytime he so much as looked in another woman's general direction. So more of more of this cheating paranoia. Uh, right up until Cindy decided to start making homemaker content. She never lifted a finger around the house. And Andrew was responsible for all, all of the dishes, laundry, etc. If he didn't keep their home clean despite working 40 hours a week, she would have a meltdown. Uh, he was also not allowed to go anywhere without her permission. And if he did leave the house, she enforced a curfew with him. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> like, you're an adult. I don't, I don't get it. He had the balls way deep in that purse. Yeah, I was about to say, like, how do you allow somebody to, like, do that to you? I'd just fucking laugh. I'd be like, you have no idea what you're, like, you know, I don't know what you're trying to do here, but that's not going to fly. You know, like, come on. Or you have to be home at nine. It's like, how about, um, I just come home when I feel like it. Because I'm a fucking adult. Very, very, uh, very controlling. Very insane. Yeah, this next point here would uh, really lend into why he would be so uh, susceptible to this, you know, being uh, yeah. worn down. Let me read this here. She abused his sleep cycle and purposely refused to spend time with him when he had free time during the day because she wanted him to be, quote, productive instead. She would wait until after he worked long hours and came home exhausted to want to spend time together, and she would have a meltdown if he was tired or start to doze off. He could only sleep when she approved of it. Yeah, that's fucking insane. That's hell. That's like actually like torture. Yeah. And and really in those states when you're sleep deprived and stuff like that, you're more susceptible to, you know, being manipulated and, and mind controlled essentially. Yeah. Sarah in the chat says it's starting to sound like some warden slash prisoner S and M stuff. Yeah, yeah really. You, you don't you don't get outside time today. You have to come uh, sit next to me and watch uh, this fucking show or whatever. You gotta uh, watch me play The Sims, boy. And finally, she often threatened to divorce him and during these meltdowns. Yeah. Oh man, it's quite a bit of stuff there. Uh, so is there anything you guys want to add on to that? Anything else you want to just comment on? We can just kind of free freestyle from here on out. That's kind of what I got for uh, all this. Free ball it. Um, yeah. I was watching a one of her videos where she goes to a uh, last podcast on the left show. Um, and during the whole video, she's kind of just like walking around doing her vlog. And in the background, you can hear uh, Andrew doing dishes, trying to fix stuff. And she's like, Andrew, why are you being so loud? I'm trying to do my vlog. <laughs> and he's, he's just like, like actually trying to like keep the house together. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's just following him around, nagging him. What a fucking nightmare, dude. <laughs> So I, I would totally wouldn't be surprised if uh, living with her for, geez, how long were they together? Like 12 years or something? That's just, that's rough. Yeah, it said like 2006 or something. It was yeah, like late no, that's, 2000s that's, or something, mid 2000s. Yeah. Crazy, man. I don't, I don't even want to think about that. That's, it's a long time. like having his balls in a vice. Yeah, it seems like, yeah. Uh, yeah, Andy. <laughs> so I have this, um, I have this post here that I thought it'd be funny to read or at least insightful. So this is like a legitimate fan who, uh, is, I guess, no longer a fan. <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. So this is a, a post from Reddit titled, I'm so upset about the person Cindy has turned out to be. Uh, the body of the text here. 
Uh, I adore The Sims 2. That's how I got into Cindy's content. And I was really excited when she started vlogging and doing weight loss content since I struggle with weight gain too. When I found out she had BPD, it made me feel less alone since I also have it. My struggles with BPD have been so painful and I felt like I could relate to her. And watching her journey of recovery inspired me. Now I know about her abuse and I feel sick. Those of us with BPD are already labeled as abusive and manipulative, which terrifies me because I don't want people to think that I'm a monster. I feel like her abusive actions will further the stigma against us, and it makes me more afraid of being open about my mental health struggles. Also, as a survivor of abuse, it sickens me to know I was ever inspired by someone who treats others the way I was treated. I just hope her actions don't lead people to believe that this is what all people with BPD are like. Most of us understand the pain abuse brings because we went through it and would never do that to others. So there's a lot of people who are just like, I'm not mad. I'm dis I'm disappointed with you, Cindy. Yeah. That seems to be the general consensus. Uh, if you ever go through and read her comments, uh, you'll see the top comments. You'll see pinned comments, hearted comments going, Oh, Cindy, you didn't do anything wrong. Andrew was horrible. And then you go to like uh, most recent comments and then you see people just like completely <laughs> devastated at what she's become. Yeah, she's uh, crafting, crafting an echo chamber for herself. She may have already, you know, well... I guess I guess it's a continual crafting process because every time a new comment comes in, you have to go, nope. And then she just blocks and deletes everyone. It only gets better over time. <laughs> yeah, it seems like like I don't know if this is it, but it seems like this has been building for quite a while. And I feel like there's only more interesting things to come at this point. Oh, absolutely. You just but, came out recently and said that, you know, she'd been lying to all of her fans and members and stuff like that, saying that she was, you know, doing all of her recovery steps and her therapy and she she hasn't done any of it. She's just been lying to everybody, telling her that, you know, telling them that she's doing it. So, yeah, you're saying uh, to me before when you're talking about doing the stream that she has an issue with alcohol, I guess. Seems like a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Mental health issues like BPD and alcohol are not a good combination whatsoever. Seen Absolutely some, uh, not. I've seen some very bad instances of those those combinations there. Um, but yeah, is there anything else you guys wanted to bring up that is relevant, especially with this more recent stuff there? Or anything that we've missed that we should uh, talk about? Her diet. <laughs> Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> so she likes to get what are they? Uh did she get like the uh egg McDoubles. McMuffin? Yeah, she likes egg McMuffin, she likes McDoubles. Uh no bun, of course. So it's just the meat with like condiments on it. Meat and cheese. That's meat it. and cheese with some did she get the condiments yeah. or did she get them taken off? Um I wanna say she goes for plain, but she might go for onion. No, because she's afraid of vegetables. So, yeah, I think she just goes straight up playing meat and cheese. Oh, God, man. <laughs> that bathroom must have been ripe for Andrew every time. Oh, was no. shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> Imagine dealing that for that for as long as he has just Toilet. constant McDouble breaths. <laughs> That's why she didn't want to change positions. She didn't want to play. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't roll me over, hon. I feel one brewing in me. The McDouble's talking. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh. There's some uh, horrible instances of her going out to, like, maybe uh, Mexican restaurants and stuff like that. Real she'll order stuff. And, uh, oh, the baked potato. She got a baked potato at a steakhouse once before. And she said, I want a baked potato on the side of my meal, but uh, hold the potato. <laughs> so, she just, so she just had a bowl full of melted cheese, sour cream, and bacon. <laughs> You're kidding me. What the fuck? <laughs> nope. Jesus fucking Christ. This it's is why... those carbs, man. Yeah. I can see why she... Uh why she wanted to lean into keto she's like i can just eat fucking fat just everything she eat bacon exactly. and cheese so that's the thing about her 
Uh, so that's the thing about her. She's got worse she, uh, BMs than Josh, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> so she's been on like a lot of fad diets. Like ever since she started her quote unquote weight loss journey, like every few months it was something different, you know, just hopping from the next thing to the other. And it's like, oh, well, that didn't work. So I'm on this new diet now. And it's going to be the best thing ever. Yeah, there's a lot of parallels. I don't know if either of you guys know about uh, Amberlyn Reed. Yeah, there's a lot of parallels between those two. I can't get over the <laughs> the baked potato hold. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> that was a revolution. I didn't even know that was possible. I'm like, wait, this is new. This is a new trick. <laughs> But imagine oh, going man. out to restaurants and shit because you're obviously paying for the whole meal. They're not going to give you a discount because you didn't buy the potato, you know? Yeah. So she's paying all this extra for for a handful of melted cheese and a scoop of sour cream, you know? It's that YouTube money, man. She's like, fuck it. I'm just buy whatever I, want. It. I got that fuck you money. <laughs> oh, man. One thing I've noticed is that she does all of these posts and I really don't like this stuff um i guess i guess just because i find it like really cringy and pretty indicative of just attention seeking and uh quite a few other things like these posts she makes on instagram where she's like well i just cried and it's like her face <laughs> yeah and there's a like lot of her crying make posts. her makeup is all fucked up yep. it's like i feel like uh, you know, I think somewhere in there she said that she was going to therapy at one point. I don't know if she's still going to therapy, but like it's not, I don't I don't feel like it's healthy to just broadcast all of this constantly all the time, you know. Like I put in the title of this in the thumbnail like oversharing. I think like that's one of the big issues she has really. Oh, that reminds me of the UTIs. That's a recent Oh uh... yeah point of discussion of her constantly talking about having utis yeah i pulled some videos as backup just depending uh and he says any videos of her yeah we might as well get into that i'll uh screen share it in a second so let me screen share this quickly i was just enjoying cindy staring back at me for a minute oh no i was gonna say let's uh briefly Watch this. This is her face reveal video. Kind of kind of put it on mute there so we can talk over it. So this is like the closest I think she looked previously to how she looks now. And it's weird seeing her kind of start with a face reveal like this, where she looks pretty close to how she looks now. And then uh she kind of then dips into this like short hair wearing a wig all the time kind of thing and now she's come back around to this kind of like natural cindy i don't know i don't know if you can call it that but yeah there's these other videos i have i'm gonna pull them up here and uh one of them was her just casually like in the title of her video like yeah i got a uti <laughs> yeah she loves talking about those utis all right, let's let's check this out here. Yeah, thrifting in rural Michigan. I got a UTI on vacation. Guys, welcome to another vlog. It's our last day here at the nudist resort. It has been so much fun. It's been like so much different than I thought it would be. It was nothing like what I expected, really. It's um, it's been really fun. I'm going to talk to you guys more about it, the experience, but um, it's definitely not what you would think if you've never been to one before. There's something about her, there's something about her face that rem it makes me think of her as almost like this Jim Carrey character. <laughs> it's like this like Jim Carrey performance, you know? She's a Kaufman. It was all an act. <laughs> they will think that their screen is broken. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> Right now we're going into town to get some food. We're going to a little restaurant called the Copper Kettle. Um, it's like 1 p.m. now. We ended up sleeping in really late because we stayed up really late last night. Um, frolicking under the moonlight, which was super fun. Frolicking under the moonlight. Yeah, you know, doing adult stuff. 
the, hanging she, out. She reminds me of this um, girl I dated years ago where <laughs> when when we were breaking up, one of the things she talked about was like, basically like she had this idea of relationships because she'd never had like a real one prior to us dating about mm. them just like she'd watch like TikToks of like <laughs> couples doing shit. And it's like, you know, a lot of that shit is like super staged and planned out and this and that. Right. And Lovingly staring like, at each other. And, yeah, yeah. And it's all just like, you know, it's like not like real life shit for the most part. And she'd be like, why aren't we doing that stuff? And I, was, I had to explain to her. I was like, these are like highly constructed like videos meant to invoke like those kind of feelings. Like, this isn't typically what people are doing. But then she actually, she took it, like, way too seriously. Cindy reminds me of, like, one of those types of girls where she'd, like, yeah. see somebody, like, going somewhere on a TikTok and then become, like, fixated on, like, visiting that one spot, like, on the other side of the planet. Yeah. Because <laughs> she just... saw it in a TikTok once. <laughs> yeah. Why are we going to Taj Mahal, Andrew? Why don't you ever take me there? I bet you take your other woman there. <laughs> your other bitches. But yeah, I'm surprised that she can um, survive the honeymoon phase as well. Because I'm surprised, I'm just surprised that she lasts with Andrew for so long. Because it seems like with all her more recent boyfriends, she's really into the honeymoon phase. And I just would imagine that she'd fall off and go, "Why well, aren't things like how they used to be, Mister Elbow?" Once she gives them a UTI, they're like, "All right, I'm out." <laughs> <laughs> See, it's like, how the fuck did she find this place? This is, again, like, what I'm talking about. I get the feeling that someone was like, oh, my God, on TikTok, check out this uh, copper kettle. It's so cute. Such a small little place. And she's like, oh, I just got to visit there. Like, huh? Yeah, it looks like somebody's house. Like, it doesn't look anything like a diner. Yeah. Ring in the chat, what's up? One of my exes, right before we broke up, asked me why I never write her poetry. Do I look like I write poetry, wizard? No, no, you don't. No. No. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I love that shit. When people's ideas and expectations of relationships are based off of, like, a movie or something. Yes. It makes me think of, like, King Cobra, just, like, being so yeah. immature that you just don't um, understand things in life like that. You know, the gender relations rants, talking about yeah. all this other... It's like, that, that doesn't happen in your life, dude. Like, get over it. Oh, man. But well, my favorite with Cobra is when he starts talking about, like, girls I went to high school with are going to look at me and be like, damn, I could have dated a rock star. <laughs> it's like, no. Nobody's Only ever it. thought that but you. <laughs> they missed out on a bad boy. Oh, well. They're lost. Oh my god, Ring in the chat has a great follow-up. He says she texted it to me. My response was to start copy and pasting Shakespeare to her. A couple <laughs> weeks later, I found out she was cheating on me with someone that wrote her poetry. What a fucking, <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> I mean, she did ask for it. She had one request. <laughs> Roses are red. You love poems. Here's a poem. Quit your bitching. Yeah. yeah, there you go. There you go. Light up sign that was not lit up. Yeah, never mind me. Okay, here's the outside of the copper kettle. South Michigan's finest establishment. <laughs> South Michigan's finest establishment. And uh, we're gonna go in and check it out. Here's the inside of the copper kettle, y'all. This, look like, this looks like a set they build for like a low budget movie. <laughs> yeah. It's like not even a real place. It's fucking Truman Show for Cindy. Does... <laughs> look like it used to be a farmhouse and they converted it into a restaurant. So kind of small and dinky, but that's okay. They got breakfast. So here's the copper kettle menu, bre uh, restaurant and catering. And unfortunately, they are not serving breakfast. They only serve breakfast till noon, so I missed that. So we're gonna have to get something over here: burgers and chicken, specialty sandwiches. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 uh let's skip through here. 
Where, where does she talk about the UTI? There's no chapter marker for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> you think she would? Andy says that he likes to use this clip when he is talking to his dates. I got molested in a little boy's room. I mean, it is a great clip. And one old lady gave me the stink eye. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe it was my pentagram necklace she didn't like. Uh, Very edgy. We love it. We love it. Uh, but anyway, so now we're going to go into Union City. The she, is she like one of those girls that's like, I'm Wiccan? Oh, she's a tarot yeah. girl for sure. Yeah, she, absolutely. She's a tarot card girl. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised. She, she's as far as uh, making potions and bombs and salves <laughs> and stuff like that, which I will give her points for. At least she does like interesting shit with it instead of just like holding on to a couple crystals. <laughs> little town that's near us. Uh, right now we're in Athens. I don't know. There, there's just a bunch of like little. Wait, does she ever do like spells? Like I'm gonna curse this person or something like that? Unfortunately, not. No, I wish she did. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, had... that'd be great. <laughs> do you know? Uh, do you know who Custom Wood Burnings is on TikTok? No, I don't. <laughs> She's this crazy lady. She has like a. She has a bunch of people in chat shit on her, and she has a bunch of index cards in a box, and she writes their names down. And has little check marks for every time that they pissed her off. <laughs> I, I kind of wish that Cindy did that, but I had like voodoo dolls for all their her naysayers. That's great. <laughs> little tiny towns all around. So we're gonna go to this other little tiny town and see if we can check out their local thrift store. Change of plans. We just saw a sign for an estate sale, so we're gonna go check it out and see what what what's up. I don't know. What all right, I, I've lost interest in this video of her. That's the thing I was surprised by. I'm like, I don't know how most people can get through yes. <laughs> so much of this crap. Um, this this should be a, a little more interesting. Hold up. Hello, everyone. This is the boyfriend broke up with me plus borderline personality disorder lies and manipulations. I'm guessing this is like my life is over part four, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. And welcome to another vlog. On Saturday night, my boyfriend broke up with me and I have been in emergency therapy sessions for the past two days. Emergency, th I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> emergency therapy sessions. I got bad news, doc. Something horrible happened to me. I got bad my news, doc. broke up with me. I'm about, to whine, I'm about to whine at you for the next hour. Sorry for the lack of updates, but I just wasn't ready to talk about it yet. We spent this last weekend together, Thursday through Saturday. We so these are the dogs that she refuses to take care of, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> Poor doggos. I think, uh, I think Andrew might have took one. I think she might have had an extra, a third dog, and I think Andrew might have took it. Uh, he took the one that he liked the most. <laughs> yeah, not Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> night concert i vlogged everything we went to spa con had a great time i vlogged everything and then i decided maybe you should like cut down on the vlogging and like try and actually enjoy life in the moment like i don't know man it's i feel like it would be fucking stressful and like n and not just that just hard to enjoy anything you're doing if you're just vlogging everything like this yeah, I was talking to, I think I was talking to Rusty about that earlier, where I'm like, if, if I was sitting down to have dinner somewhere and my girlfriend pulled out her phone and started talking over me while I'm trying to eat, like, that must be, like, nerve-inducing. I couldn't imagine doing that. Yeah. And having that happen all the time. I'd imagine that for a lot of people, if they start dating somebody and then they realize that they do that all the time, they'd probably just be like... You know, I can imagine various thoughts going through people's heads, but I think one that would kind of uh, crop up pretty often, especially with this type of content that she's making, is just like, man, she's really fucking full of herself, you know? Like, thinking that everyone wants to see, like, every little detail of what she's doing and what's going on in her life, as, yeah, if, it's think... as if it's really that interesting. Yeah, I think you have to have some sort of, some degree of narcissism to uh, be a vlogger when your life is so particularly unremarkable. Yeah. That's why I've never really understood most vlogging, because, like, most people's lives are not very interesting. Even a lot of, like, famous people. Right, yeah. It's like, what are you going to do in a day? <laughs> Just hanging yeah. out? <laughs> like... Well, especially, like, when a lot of fucking famous people are, like, big YouTubers have a lot of money. 
they don't really do anything interesting so they have to like force interesting things quote unquote to happen like these right. fucking yeah. vloggers who are you know millions of subscribers where it's like I set my backyard on fire today. We're, dr- <laughs> we're driving ATVs up and behind my house in the forest. It's like, you know. I crashed just, my Lamborghini. Yeah. I'm going to jail again. It's just they're trying to come up with something interesting for the purposes of, you know, creating a YouTube video. And then when the subject of all your YouTube videos is what you do on the day to day, it just becomes like this huge farce because that's not what you're organically doing on the day to day. You're just like, this is my life. And it's like, it's really not. Man, I got to come up with content today. Oh, look at me. I'm making a, a meatloaf today. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on, watch this. And she's just sitting there <laughs> eating fucking two McDoubles through the meatloaf floor. <laughs> she's taking that YouTube, or not YouTube. She's taking that McDonald's hamburger meat and turning it into fucking meatloaf. <laughs> yep. Rotten Ronnie's meatloaf. Oh, disgusting. Anyways, uh, Ring says, I didn't post the first part. Uh, another girl I dated was from the middle of nowhere. She thought that she was super edgy because she had her nipples pierced. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you live in the middle of nowhere and everyone's like a normie and you're like the one goth person because then it's just like, oh my god, another goth person. They see them and it's just like, yeah, nobody cares. You're from somewhere where there's an actual population. It's like you're going to run into quite a lot of people like that. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, I crashed my Lamborghini today. Join me as I buy another one. Yeah. Uh, that's Ring content. S- yeah, that's content, folks. Ring says, Wiz, you just made me realize current content creators are Jack. Jack Ashlight forced things to happen, but nothing interesting since late. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm assuming that's a reference. Uh, did not. Are you, are you taking those oh, Delta Jack 9 guns? I think he meant jackass, oh, but he jack had a sensor, light, yeah. so it didn't, so it popped up, yeah. Yeah. Fucking YouTube with their chat, man. It's so yeah, restrictive. Yeah, no, it's fucking crazy. Yeah. Oh. And there's, like, no option to just be, like, show me the, like, explicit chat or anything. Might get you... your feelings hurt. <laughs> and there's always a message popping up. Please be respectful. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <gasps> Yo, Wiz, if you want to play that clip I sent you, that pretty much summarizes uh, Cindy up in a nutshell there. Um, Wait a minute. Hold up. Let me see here. Oh, okay. Let me pull this up. Let's see. All right, let's play this. I saw some woman out there kissing her husband goodbye on his way to work, or I guess he was about to leave for work. And I wanted to yell, hey, fuck you. Some of us are fucking heartbroken over here, okay? Take it inside, lady. (laughs) Like little things like that just, it hurts me to see two other people happy when I'm in misery, okay? I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I'm a terrible person. That's a great clip, man. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I'm a terrible person. It's perfect. It's Cindy coming to full realization about herself. Yeah. 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 I I mean, I remember when I was like 12 years old and (laughs) thought I was edgy. Thought I was going to be forever alone. And I saw, you know, like two people making out and I was like, hey, fuck you. Some (laughs) Some of us are single over here. But, you know, like. She's like, what, 40-something years old, I think you guys said? 40 years old? Yeah, she's getting there. It's like, yeah. It reminds me a lot of uh, Cobra. reminds me a lot of Jared Genesis. Just this, like, infinitesimal uh, immaturity and insecurity. Yeah, it, it reminds me a lot of how I thought and felt when i was younger and people that i've known and it's just like how are you this old and you just haven't figured it out yet like just get over it uh ring says uh you're flat okay you're flat you're flat you have no talent (laughs) you ain't gonna make it kid yeah andy says uh anywhere Um, yeah, I don't know. What what else is there to say about Cindy at this point? I'm going to cover the UTI and the burgers. 
with nudist beach that was pretty good <laughs> yeah she, uh, that, she seemed really eager to go to that beach uh if i was cindy i wouldn't but i mean you know she can do what she wants <laughs> yeah i've seen some videos of that uh, rusty sent me she's, she's built like a cryptid i'll say that <laughs> yeah kind of kind of cylindrical <laughs> Kind of cylindrical. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me. Um. All right. I feel like there is something else I wanted to mention, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember here. Sarah says, uh, "Would Cindy be co- perfect for Cobra or Jared?" Hmm. We were having this conversation mm-hmm. earlier. Yeah, I think it was, it was leaning more towards Jared at this point. Yeah. I mean, what we're saying was like... Sorry, go ahead. Cobra has the whole uh, opposition defiance disorder thing, so I feel like if she told him that he needs to be home, not not that he would go out anywhere, but if she tried to control him, he'd go, yeah, fuck you, dude, I do what I want. I make as many uh, super bacon cheeseburger double chocolate stuffed calzones as I want, bitch. (laughs) Leave me alone, I'm autistic, dude. (laughs) So who would she be? Who would she be more likely to go for, Jared or Cobra? I think you had the point earlier when you said Jared, man. He, he, she can just control him, wind him around her, her little finger, and you know, have a big baby to take care of. Is that her? Is that her primary motive? You think? I think so. I don't think she could handle not having someone because that's pretty much how her last relationship ended. The other guy was like, "No, I'm not going to deal with your crazy BPD shit." And I feel like that she needs to have someone who'll just deal with her being a little wacko every once in a while. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I feel like maybe this uh, girl and Jared Genesis are made for each other. I feel like the only one of the only women in existence that would put up with Jared's bullshit. There's someone for everyone. <laughs> Ring in the chat says Jared deserves nothing. I mean, I kind of agree. <laughs> if anything, it would be funny. If anything, it would be funny for uh, them to go on like fish tank together or something. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Cindy just sitting there, pulling her hair out, playing The Sims. I would love to have someone else streaming Cindy just to like get an idea of who she really is. Just like someone following her around and having her like wig out over small shit and <laughs> eating McDonald's all day. She needs her own TLC show. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Ghost of Lester Cheatham says even a Jared and Cindy collab stream would be amazing. It'll never happen, but a sicko can dream. <laughs> I mean, the stars would have to align for that to happen, you know? Jared's dad would have to be dead or out of the picture. According to Jared, you know, uh, I don't know. This is, the last time she streamed was when she miscarried, right? No, she's been streaming recently. That oh. was the last time she streamed The Sims. Oh, yeah, you know, you're right. Yeah. She does uh, live streams on her Life Plus Cindy channel. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy just the amount of uh, genuine followers and supporters that she's... Uh, managed to pick up over the years yeah i mean sorry go ahead it it seems like you get the most uh not violent but uh dedicated group of haters when you have a group of people that really like you and then you do a switch somewhere and then you have this whole group of people you left behind just you hate what you're doing now yeah i'm trying to see because i had some like things tucked away here and there Oh god, this video of <laughs> this video of her. Okay, hold on. I think wait, how old Hey, is welcome this? to Okay, this is from two months ago, never mind. This video we had to take a look at before we go. Uh one second here. This is what I was talking about. She's like built like a cryptid. This is what I was talking about. Let me screen share this here. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Today we are going swimming in a secret swimming hole that my boyfriend is showing. Oh, Sep, Raphael, thank you very much for subscribing. It's appreciated. Me, he's showing me all of his secret places that he used to swim when he was a kid. Just love the terminology, swimming hole. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Deep out here. 
It's deeper than- Oh my god, it's way deeper than the other place. They sagged until they floated. <laughs> Tarman in the chat, how's it going, dude? Oh, and the water feels oh, really hi, nice. Man. Look how beautiful and Crazy peaceful. Chick on the creek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he called her crazy. Called her crazy chick. That look on her face right now. She's like, ha ha yeah, that's really funny. Ha ha. <laughs> you totally caught shit for that later. Oh yeah, uh, dude. <laughs> the way her face like How beautiful snapped. And that's what she <laughs> crazy chick. <laughs> she just suppresses her response first. <laughs> her fucking neck contorted it's to that. So... That hit hard. What's up? My girlfriend's trying to distract me. Beautiful out here. Shooting you with a nerf gun? I know. No, she bent over and started spanking her ass. Oh. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Don't a stream, woman. God damn it. Nobody is coming down. It's very <laughs> unlikely anybody would come down here. There's a spider right there. I know. That's why I told you this place is like the secluded potential. Yeah. This is the downside. Yeah, he, sound, he sounds uncomfortable uh, that he's being filmed right now. Let's see. There was like a weird looking shot at one point. Hold up. I think it's like somewhere around here. Okay. It's a weird looking woman. <laughs> Look what I found in the ocean. A great <laughs> beast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, huh? we found right Bigfoot says Wait, Sarah you're just in the immediately? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're leaving because there's like the, the camping area over here, like the yeah, picnic area. Just... No picnic call. <laughs> Alright, I don't even know what the fuck is going on at this point. Oh, is this the boyfriend? Or no, this is Cindy, I was gonna say really well and now we're safe and we're leaving so we are removing the rope from the tree and bringing it back with us because we're not going to leave anything here <laughs> just the most useless play-by-play -play. and now we're doing this and now we're doing that like this is i should gotta be honest. And now i'm stepping on a rock and now i'm stepping on dude do i can't get into like any vlog content because it's just like now we're doing this thing and it's like keep it to the Keep it to the fucking highlights, like, come on, bro. I'm gonna waste my goddamn time with this shit. Uh, um, anything else though before we before we head out? We've done a solid like seventy five minutes here. Uh, any any more insider stories or anything you guys wanted to share? I uh, think I'm out. I think I'm maxed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I think just in conclusion, it's very it's very interesting to see her making all of this content about being in an abusive relationship, going through uh, all this distress, and then everyone being like, oh, we're there for you, girl, you know? Yeah, that's, even, a, that's the weirdest shit, is when, yeah. when somebody, especially after all the abuse shit came out, it's kind of like, you, you, you gotta <laughs> you gotta take a second and go, like, well, maybe this person isn't who I thought they were. Well, that's what I was gonna say, too, like, because I was seeing that before any of this came out, I saw that, and it was like, you know, like, part of me almost wanted to be like, you know what, I hope she does do better for herself, and then all this shit came out, and it's like, oh, fuck, of course, of course, <laughs> yeah. man, of course. <laughs> I've seen this happen so many times. It's just like, oh my god, dude! It's the uh, it's the YouTuber way. It has yeah. to happen at some point. <laughs> it has to happen at some point, and it's it usually goes down a little bit like this. Uh, Ghost of Lester Cheatham says her vlogs are like that family skit about Randy Newman just singing about everything he <laughs> sees. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Did it? Did Lake over there? Yeah, just. Fucking in a Does it make double over day? <laughs> no bun though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming on. I think we pretty much uh came and done what we needed to do today. Thanks for providing me with uh very valuable insight and uh corrections on things related to uh Cindy. Maybe, I feel yeah. like uh there might be a part two at some point, maybe if there's uh more meat on the bone at some point. Oh, there's plenty of meat on the bones. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right Can we, uh, well... take a minute and plug our stuff oh yeah yeah go ahead yeah you want to go first goose yeah sure uh i'm over at uh, metal mongoose on the youtubes 
I may I have one Cindy edit up if you want more Cindy. I mostly do King Cobra shit. That's pretty much it. And I'm uh, Rusty T's Diner, and I make really shitty meme edits. Uh, they're funny sometimes. Oh, uh, no, they're pretty good. I've seen a couple. They're pretty fucking good. I like that new kind of like intro thing you made. That was fun. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to have to check out some of your uh, content there, Mongoose. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for coming on. I think we're going to head out now. But uh, yeah, it was nice talking to you guys. Yeah, man. It was fun. All Thanks, right. Wiz. Peace out for now, guys. See you. All right. I hope you guys liked this uh, little lol cow stream. I feel like Cindy's a bit of a proto cow, you know, kind of a lol cow in the making. Uh, but this is this is the flashpoint, really, uh, this last month for uh, Cindy's, uh, you know, rise to lol cow dumb, if you want to call it that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to head out for now. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night, guys. And as always, peace the fuck out and have a good one.